<laughs> Y'all, I almost just killed my dog. Guys, I'm traumatized. Kaya is at the vet because I almost just tried to kill her. Okay, did you see my story this morning? I, I gave Kaya my leftover Cracker Barrel. I, I had one sausage patty and some hash brown casserole. And y'all, Kaya always begs me for my food. Like anytime I'm eating, she hops up on the little platform here and she just cries and she whines and she just starts sniffing like. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna give Kaya a treat. And so on my story this morning, you'll see, I let Kaya eat my leftover breakfast and she loved it, like she killed it. And then, long story short, I went inside for a moment and I um, I gave her these new treats. I put it in this little ball where she has to like work to get the treats out. And I ran out of what she normally has. And so I put a few of the new treats and then I cut some of the old treats in half and I put it in there. And y'all, she, I don't know if she ate it or what. And I don't know if something happened while I was inside and she was outside because something bit her. But when I came out, she'd thrown up the hash browns. She was trembling. And so I just, I was holding her and I was petting her. And anytime that I stopped petting her, like she looked up at me to say, keep petting me. And she was shaking and I was heartbroken. But she has thrown up before, but she'd never acted like this before. This was new. And so then um, I put her down because I thought maybe she doesn't want to be touched, but she just kept crying. And then I sat down in my seat to continue having my time with the Lord. And I was looking at her and she was just miserable. And she kept like jetting back and forth. And I don't know what was going on. And then she went over to her water bowl and she poured water on her face and she started like swiping at it. And so I knew something was off. I knew something was going on. She's never done this before. Um, and then I looked at her eyes and she had like these, her eyes were swelling and it looked like her face was swelling too. And so I was, I called my vet. I was like, something's going on. And so I ran her to the vet and she's there now. They want to keep her for a few hours. She had an allergic reaction and I don't know if it was the Cracker Barrel or if it was the new treats or something bit her, but she was like, the doctor said, yeah, she's, she's swelling. Um, and just the way that she keeps like not nipping at her face. So y'all, I had a moment, I was, I was of course crying on the car ride home and yeah, she had an allergic reaction. And so the doctor said they're going to give her like an antihistamine and they're just going to watch her for a couple of hours. I know. Well, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was that she ate or something happened to her, but on the way home, I was feeling so guilty and I was like, I'm never giving her any more human food. I don't care how much she begs. And then I felt like God said, now you understand what happens when you are asking me for something and I know that it's not going to be good for you. Now you get it. And you parents out there, like I've always heard that parents, you just understand sometimes the father heart of God um, because of how you treat your children. I know it's a different situation, but I get it. I realize that I will do anything to protect my baby. And if that means saying no because of something um, will hurt her, even if she is crying and begging me for it, I'm just not going to give it to her anymore. And I feel like this was a lesson that God taught me through Kaya. I think I'm gonna start this series, Life Lessons from Kaya the Havi. And I wanna say to you, y'all, sometimes you are begging God for something. Sometimes you're asking him for something and he so wants to say yes, but he knows what's best for you. And so he says no, because he knows it's not gonna be good for you. He loves you. If you will curl up on his lap and let him stroke you, he wants to do that. But because he knows best, because he's omnipotent, because he's all knowing, because he's all seeing, because he knows the end from the beginning, he knows what is gonna be good for you and what's not. So that's the lesson that I learned today. I hope that it blesses you and please pray for my dog. <laughs>
Mandy Sabon in Citrus Heights, California, as Mandy Saline Hundre was found dead in her Franklin home on Thursday. She was 47. Police did not directly confirm her as the subject of their death investigation, but confirmed they were working at a home that matched the address provided for Mandisa on public records. The medical examiner officially identified Mandisa as the deceased woman over the weekend. Police say the 47-year-old was found deceased inside the home on Bimon Drive on the evening of April 18th. Police officials believe there is no indication of foul play in her death suspected. They wrote in a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, in quotes, The Franklin Police Department is continuing to investigate the death of a woman found inside a Bimon Drive residence last Thursday evening. Over the weekend, a medical examiner identified the deceased individual as Mandisa Handre, 47. At this time, there is no indication that the death was the result of suspicious or criminal activity. The Franklin Police Department sends its condolences to Handre's family, friends and fans. Mandisa was a Christian singer who competed on American Idol in 2005 in Chicago and finished in the final nine. She released her first album, True Beauty, in July 2007, debuting on the top Christian album charts with her first single, On With The World. She also won Best Contemporary Christian Music Album for Overcomer at the 56th Grammy Awards in 2014. Kai, do you see what the sign says? Kai, please, slow down. You're killing me. Slow down, girl. <laughs> Got distracted. Come on, you got me up here. Enjoy this incline much better going down. <laughs> Leave that cat alone. Mm -mm, that thing don't look right. No, nah, man. <laughs> no, hey, girl, I will cut you. Hey. Are you crazy? Come on, Tanya. Tammy is currently videoing me, and she was judging me because I had a big mound of belts. And I've gotten rid of half of the belts. I just want to show you. These are belts that I used to be able to wear. This, look at how much my waist. Show them the, um, where you showed the, the circle where it used to go oh, on yeah. that one. So I used to wear this belt right here. Wait, right here. Look at that. And now I'm right here. Go D. Yeah! Look at your tiny this waist. This is why we are purging clothes because I can't wear this stuff no more. And so you have to get rid of old stuff so that God can bring in the new. Hallelujah. That'll preach. Amen. <laughs>